Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. And today we will do another experiment in virtual lab. And in virtual lab section, um, uh, go to electronics and communication. You will see a lot of options are there. Since we were doing basic electronics lab, click on that. And today we will do a bipolar junction transistor, an experiment on bipolar junction transistor, where we will uh, try to find out the frequency response of the amplifier, okay? So uh, I hope the screen is visible and I hope you were quite uh, familiar with the basics of the BJT. If not, then just, uh, go to the theory classes and revise uh, the portion, or you can just click the, on the uh, experiment theory as well, so that you can get some idea before starting the uh, practical, okay, virtual practical. So this study on BJTCE amplifier, uh, over here you'll see a, a theory is provided, and this theory uh, is very elaborate. They have given uh, all possible uh, working formulas and they have fetched you the entire circuit. They have also uh, said about the components. Okay, they have described certain components over here. So over here, you'll get all the necessary theoretical portion. After that, please go through the procedure part before. Uh, starting your simulation, I always repeat this and carefully draw this circuit in your copies and just write uh, the uh, values which you are taking beside each of them. Okay, now click on simulation part and over here you'll have two options, CE amplifier and CE amplifier draw circuit. Okay, first uh, open CE amplifier part. Uh, here the circuit is already connected. It is drawn in the connected form. You have to just fetch in all the values uh, of the uh, uh, required components. You can take uh, values as per your college uh, teacher suggests you and just try to uh, work out this uh, experiment, okay? This experiment I am trying to do as per the syllabus of uh, Calcutta University fourth semester physics honors, and it is under CBCS system. So it is almost uh, this experiment is there in almost uh, most of the Indian university cur uh, curriculums. So, so you can just check and uh, do. Okay. So now uh, set RS. I'm setting RS as uh, say uh, around say two hundred. Okay and collector resistance, I'm trying to set it at, uh, say, uh, 2000, if I wish. Uh, so 2000, I want to keep. The emitter resistance should be less, so keep that as 1000. Apply it gradually because uh, sometimes the values uh, depends on your gliding. And the load resistance, I wish to keep it at, say, six. 100 or 700 or whatever you wish to. The base resistance, that is RB1 and RB2. I want to keep RB1 high, high as say 15 kilo. Uh, uh, so I just wish to make it as uh, say 1500 something. So let's say it's uh, 1500. Oh. 15,400, okay, so whatever it comes. I just wish to keep it, I'm just trying to show you how it comes. Uh, exact values you do as per your um, teacher advises you and as per your calculation, okay. RB2, I'm trying to take it as 4.7 as it is given in the book. Uh, so it's uh, 4.7, it's slowly I have to glide. And this one, I just wish to take it as one microfarad. Uh, C2 also as one microfarad. This I'll take as 10 microfarad. And now your next step after uh, putting all the values, you have to hit the add to table button over here. Once you hit that, you uh, will be prompted to enter the frequency. So 
this is your frequency uh, glider. Glide your frequency, and uh, for each value of uh, frequency, you'll have certain uh, va magnitude values. So you have to add every values to the table. So suppose I take a, a small value, as say 150. You can see over your frequency I'm changing, and I want to say add a table. So I get a magnitude of 9.9. .9. So gradually take few more uh, values. I'm just taking arbitrarily. Uh, you can take in regular intervals so that your graph comes out to be a beautiful one. So I'm just trying to uh, give you a glimpse. So that's why I'm taking arbitrary values. Uh, so take around say 15 to 20 values for uh, more clarified graph, okay? And uh, so a few more I wish to take. Now, one more thing, as you are doing this values, you see initially the value of the magnitude uh, was uh, less, gradually it started increasing and it, it started, sorry, it started increasing, see? And then again, it is dropping. So you'll get a very beautiful curve, I suppose. So once um, I have taken 13 values arbitrarily and the values gradually increase, then some point it is constant. Uh, these are the constant points. And after that, it gradually decreases. So after this, uh, all your experimental data is taken, your circuit is taken, your controls are done and you hit the plot button. Scroll below, you have a plot over here, okay? So this is the frequency response of your CE amplifier, uh, BJT CE amplifier. You can see from here, this is your mid-band gain, and this is lower cutoff frequency, this is higher cutoff frequency. And if at any point you want to know the values, you can just, uh, place your cursor there and you'll be able to uh, get the values, okay? So this is a wonderful experiment and I wish to see everyone doing this experiment. If you have any kind of queries related to this part, please drop in your questions in the chat box or you can also write to me. I have a website, you can also uh, check out the, uh, uh, all the books and all the notes. You can also uh, go and do the test over there plenty of uh, study maths are there. So you just, uh, no need of any kind of subscription. It is totally free for every student around the world. So you can access anytime, anywhere, and do feel free to send me your feedbacks and definitely your queries. I would love to solve them. Thank you. And one more thing, uh, just going back to that portion, uh, CE amplifier draw circuit, okay. This is same as uh, this section, uh, same as this section, uh, but what is done, uh, not done over here is that the connections are not made. So you just have to make the connections. I'll show you the connections uh, for you. Rest of the thing you can do as I have taught earlier. So just make the connections. Uh, it's very easy, but be careful while uh, connecting because if you make a mistake, you have to then delete all connections, okay? So uh, supply is connected. This, this is actually the transistor, my base emitter and collector. So I'm connecting all these portions. This is my emitter section. And I hope it's uh, easier for you all too. And connect all this to, uh, below ones together and then connect them to front, okay? So this is it, the connection is it, same, you just fetch in the values of uh, your own choice, or you can just repeat the uh, experiment with the same values as I've taken over here and uh, glide through them, then same thing. Okay, first of all, just check the connection. It says right connection. So they are prompting me to provide the resistance and capacitance values. So now you can just add your values over here, like 200, and this I have taken as 2000. So like this, the same thing you have to repeat. So I'm not doing this part anymore. And after that, uh, hit add to table. Once hit add to table is done, you have to 
uh, to plot change with the respective frequency changes you have made. And this is your plotting section, the same thing as this. So I hope this is quite clear to you. Okay, if you have any queries, please feel free to uh, write to me. Thank you all and keep watching and keep uh, sharing my videos so that uh, students might benefit from it, okay? And don't forget to hit the bell button. Thank you.